Okay, thanks for coming back. This is part two of making a calculator in Visual Basic 2008 Express uh, under admin D123C. Now that we've got uh, part one and this is in place right here, we're going to start with the coding. So I'm just going to start with button number one here. Okay. Now, I've already written that code out, so I'm just going to control V it in now. Um, Basically, what you have, Command 1, as you remember from the first video, we called that button Command 1. Um, and it is going to be in textbox 1.txt, that's your text field. It's going to equal textbox 1.txt and, and in quotes here, the number 1. And that's it. And you can do that 1 through 9 and 0 also. And it's going to, all you're doing essentially is changing this number right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while I fill all that in and you can go ahead and do the same. Just copy and paste it by changing this number all the time. Or you can go back to your form and double click because you want to get command 2 for the second button. Alrighty, so I'm going to pause that and finish that and come right back. Okay, now that we've got all that filled in, uh, I'm going to just do 9 for you right flat out, double click on 9, opens up the private sub there, command 9, see that? Control V there, because I just copied that and pasted it. Command 9, right here, it's going to be a 9. So you have numbers, 1, command 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we're going to go back and do the 0. The 0 is the same, and it is 0. Alrighty. Okay, and as you might have guessed, the decimal is a decimal in there. Command decimal, decimal point there. Okay. And the clear, command clear, this one's a little different. Basically, text box one dot text equals zero, and what that's going to do is just clear out any numbers you got loaded in there, and that's going to be that. And that's going to be that. So let's just double check for errors here. We've got zero errors. Let's do a quick run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's your zero. Cleared it out with the zeros. One point. Two. That works. Clear that out. Okay. Now, obviously, these guys don't work yet, and we're going to get to that. And we got to get our closed calculator to work also. So, why don't we do that next? Okay. So, we open, click once on the file, double click on closed calculator, and you're going to type me dot close. That's it. That command right there is going to do it for you. Always check for errors, you know, just to check for errors. We're going to run that real quick. Okay, we know these numbers work. We know they get clear. File, close calculator. Alrighty. Now, for the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, this is a little different. So I'm going to pause it for a second and come right back. Okay, to start off with your uh, arithmetic processes, at the top of this form, just hit the enter key because before the public class, you got to type this. Option explicit on. Option explicit on. Okay? Then you're going to do this dimensions. Dim, the first number. It's going to be as a single. Dim the second number, all written out, as a single. Dim the answer number as a single. And then we've got a dimension here. Arithmetic process as a string. As a string. Once that's set in place right there, you can actually check for errors. There's no going to be no errors. We're going to go down to our app.
add button down here. Okay, now this code here, I've already typed it out. First number equals value, okay? Text box one dot text in parentheses. Then text box one dot text is equal to zero. See that here? Then the arithmetic process is equal to the plus sign. That would be your symbol for add on your command add button. Okay. Now essentially you're going to do this three more times, just changing the symbol each time. I'll go ahead and do that for you. Okay, now these guys are in place. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now remember, we know that the uh, ampersand is uh, multiplication in computer language, but remember that button is an X. Okay, so basically Command add, command subtract, multiply, divide. You guys can see that. Okay, it's the same. First number equals the value of the text box one dot text. The text box one dot text equals zero. The arithmetic process is subtraction. Arithmetic process is multiplication. Arithmetic process is division, and adds up here. Okay, now to get this going on with the equals. This is different and this is a longer piece of code so I'm going to pause it, type it in and then tell you what I did uh, word for word so you can type it in or pause the video. Okay when you double click on your equal sign this is what you get private sub command equal underscore click da 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 command equal dot click Okay, the second number is equal to the value, and then in parentheses, text box one dot text. Okay, the second number. So if the arithmetic process equals addition, then the answer number is equal to the first number plus the second number. And if, then if the arithmetic process equals subtraction, right here, then the answer number is equal to the first number minus the second number. And if, if the arithmetic process is equal to the x there, that's the symbol for that button, then the answer number equals the first number. Now remember, the ampersand there has got to be changed. Multiplied by the second number, and if. If the arithmetic process is equal to division, you're dividing now. Then, if the second number is equal to zero, there's a reason for this, because you can't divide by zero. Then, we're going to put a message box up saying you cannot divide by zero. And that's going to be MSG box, and in parentheses, quote here, you cannot divide by zero, okay, comma, space, zero, comma, space, quote, then warning, end quote, end parenthesis. Exit the sub, end if. And right under the end if, you're gonna write the answer number is equal to the first number divided by the second number, end if. And then under all that, text box one dot text is equal to the answer number. And that essentially is your multiplication, your addition, subtraction, and division. You've got no errors. So you can pause this here and do it again or replay the video if you want. What we're going to do is go back to the form real quick. We're going to run it. We're going to do 1 plus 1 equals 2. Good. Clear the screen. How about uh, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Good. Clear the screen. We all know that 5 times 5 is 25. Good. Clear the screen. Uh, 7 minus 6 is 1. Good. Now watch this. 9 divided by 0. There's your message box. You cannot divide by 0. It gives you a warning. And that's just a neat little feature to do there. Remember we got calculator close. Okay, part 3 I'm going to show you how to change the colors and put a um, about box and you can put your name in there as a message box that you had written a program. Alright, hope this tutorial was uh, helpful. 
admin d one two three c and look out for part three.